uh, 10 years ago today uh, was not a, a Sunday. Um, I was on my way to the church building in Jasper, Georgia. I stopped at the convenience store to get a cup of coffee. When I went into the convenience store, everybody was gathered around the, the counter. And looking over the counter, behind the, the cashier's counter, the cashier had a little TV back there. And the first plane had struck the first tower. Everybody was talking about how it could have happened, uh, how, how an accident like that could take place. Some people were saying already that, that uh, it, was, it, was purpose, it was purposeful. So I uh, got my coffee and uh, went back home so that I could see the news. Instead of going on to the church building, I went back home so that I could see the news and see what was going on. And, and uh, uh, between the time that I left the convenience store and the time I uh, got back, home, the uh, second plane had hit, and it was no longer being talked about as a tragic accident, it was being talked about as a purposeful attack, the Pentagon was, was hit, another plane was driven down in a field by brave individuals on that plane who, talking with loved ones on their cell phones, found out what was going on, and rather than have their plane used as a missile to kill other people, they uh, decided to do something and became heroes of our country. Over the next hours and days, we saw that horrible footage of people jumping to their death rather than burning up in those buildings. We remember that time because of its great tragedy. We remember the uh, heroism of those people that we refer to as our first responders. People who, when everyone else was, was fleeing the towers to, to save their own lives, these men were running into the towers to save the lives of others. And they sacrificed themselves. Ten years ago today. And there's been all kinds of speculation about why the country was attacked, why, why these people in the Middle East, and I hear people, and it drives me out of my mind, to hear people uh, blaming things like our foreign policy on, on why these people would attack, as, as if if we just stayed here and minded our own business, then these people would not have bothered us. It's a lie. It's not true. They don't hate us because of who our allies are or because of our activity in that part of the world. They hate us because they are against anything not Islam. They are against freedom. They want a system of courts ruled by religious law, Sharia. They want a government ruled by a religious government, the caliphate. And they hate freedom. They hate it that our women can walk around independently without, with, with, with their heads uncovered, of all things. That, that our women can actually go to school and, 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 and can pursue a career. They hate that. That's why they attacked us. That's why our, our brave first responders died that day. Not because of foreign policy. What was the foreign policy that motivated the, the attacks of the Barbary pirates so long ago. Now, I remember when the first, first Muslim uh, congressman being sworn in. He wanted to be sworn in on a Koran instead of a Bible. And so they said, oh, let's use Thomas Jefferson's Koran. Or Koran. Let's use Thomas Jefferson's Koran to, to swear him in. Thomas Jefferson had a Koran. Oh, so... That means Thomas Jefferson must have been accepting of Islam as part of our national makeup. No, the reason Thomas Jefferson had a Quran was to research the enemy that they were fighting in the Barbary pirates. When those attacks were taking place so long ago, they hate us because of our freedom, because, because of our fundamental uh, foundation of biblical principle. That's why they hate us. And so, today as... Uh, we remember 
those uh, 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 amazing acts of heroism that day in saving the lives of others. And we should be so thankful to live in a country where those who are referred to as God's ministers actually, for the most part, and I know exceptions can be pointed out and there's bad apples in every bunch, but for the most part, our governing authorities, our first responders, our law enforcement officers, our judges, our politicians, our uh, uh, governing authorities, for the most part, are moral people, understanding right from wrong. And that's why we see such tremendous acts of heroism when it comes time to uh, decide whether I'm going to run for my life or whether I'm going to endanger my life to save another because we have that foundation of morality in this country. And so I want to offer a uh, word of prayer on behalf of, of those who lost family members, on behalf of those first responders we have serving us today in this country, and, and the, the, the amazing work that they do in keeping us safe. Let's pray together. Our Holy Father, we come before Thee now giving Thee thanks for this country that we've been blessed with, that we live in a country that was founded on Thy Word, we know that our founding fathers were men who were conscious of thy word and who penned the documents of our government based on the principles of thy word. We know that the most often quoted source in their material is thy word. We're so thankful, Father, that we live in a country that is based on freedom and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. We're so thankful, Father, that our governing authorities respect life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We pray that we would be more diligent in selecting those authorities that rule over us based on the principles of thy word, that we would select those who truly do respect life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. We pray especially, Father, that I would be with our law enforcement officers. We pray that thou would be with our Jerseyville Police Department and our Jersey County Police and our Illinois State Police, our National Guard, our U.S. soldiers, as they put themselves in harm's way to preserve the peace, to preserve for us a society that is ruled by the order of law. We pray that thou would keep them safe, that thou would keep them from harm, as they work so diligently to keep us safe. We know that thou hast called them thy ministers and that they serve thee in preserving order. We know that thou art a God of order and that the governing authority is a principle of order, not chaos. And that in doing that, they serve thee. We pray that thou would be with them and their families. We pray that thou would be with those that have lost loved ones at the hands of evil men, at the hands of those who hate freedom, at the hands of those that hate thee and thy word. We pray that thou would bless them with the wisdom to turn to thee for the comfort that only can come from thee, from the wisdom of thy word that they would be built up and strengthened. We pray that we would never forget that we live in a sin-sick world where evil causes so much harm and destruction and that we would always have the wisdom to follow thee and to serve thee and to glorify thee. We give thee all of the thanks and all of the praise in Christ's name.